In today's video and podcast, I want to talk to you about those small islands called Eastern Australia, better known as New Zealand to most people. Uh, I've got a funny story to tell you and also how that relates to forex trading and how it can really help you. So let me tell you more right now. Hi, Andrew Mitchum here, the Forex Trading Coach. Today is Friday, the 29th of November. And that's right, I want to talk about New Zealand. Some people think of it as, as Eastern Australia um, and how that can uh, affect your trading. A bit of a funny story, tear me out and I'll explain more right now. Well, I was on a flight last week uh, between uh, Honolulu and Kauai. And I was sat next to a gentleman from Texas, and he said, um, are you from Australia? And I said, no, I'm from New Zealand. And he goes, oh, I've been there years ago to Perth. And I said, no, that's a long way away. That's a different place. It's in Australia. I'm in New Zealand. And then we carried on talking, and uh, a little bit later he said, you've got those terrible forest fires uh, in Sydney. And I said, no, that's in Australia. It's a different country. I'm in New Zealand, three and a half hour flight away. And, um, and it got me thinking. Because this guy was uh, sure that Australia and New Zealand was all the same thing. And, you know, for, in his mind it was. And I kept saying, no, Australia. He, uh, so I kept saying, no, I'm in New Zealand. He kept saying, well, that's Australia. Two completely different places. So how does it relate to trading? Well, quite a way, uh, quite a number of ways, really. When you think about it, you know, we, we become um, sort of thinking along the same lines all the time, what you read, what you hear. And a lot of people come to me and they say, Andrew, you know, um, I've done this and this in my trading and, and I'm really experienced and I've been trading for a long time, but I'm still not making any money. And when you uh, like analyze that a little bit more detail, you realize that they, uh, what they think they know is not probably as much as, you know, what they think they know. And it's to say that everybody can learn and you can never stop learning in this market. Um, you know, and I'll give you an example for myself. Uh, just last night, my time, I took two trades on the one minute charts on a live webinar in front of clients. Um, and they both worked, they both worked fantastically well. One made about a 1.7 risk to reward, the other I think was about a 1.3 or 1.4, but both worked really well. Now, if you'd have said to me, um, or spoke to me about a year ago, and said, Andrew, do you trade one minute charts? I would have said, no, never, don't be so stupid. I don't go anywhere near that short time frame. But when we were looking, there were some really good pullbacks, and, uh, and the one minute charts had some really nice bounce levels, took the trades, both worked, as I said. So everybody has to learn uh, different approaches and to learn to adapt if it suits you. Uh, likewise, I've got a lot of people that have come to me and said, look, Andrew, I've been trading, uh, you know, scalping the market or trading news, whatever it might be, um, but I'm still not successful. Can you help me? And after a while, um, when they've taken my course, they'll go, hey, Andrew, I really do like those four hour charts or those uh, daily charts or weekly charts or whatever it is. So some people go from being very, very short time frame and thinking they know everything about trading because they trade five minute charts or 15 minute charts. But in reality, there's a lot that they don't know, but uh, it's not until they change do they realize that. And you bring it back to the, like the, uh, the guy I was sitting next to on the plane. He thought he knew the, the whole geography of the world and you know, Australia, New Zealand, well, it's the same thing. I've been to Perth, therefore I've been to New Zealand. It's about eight hours away on a plane. It's completely different. Um, and exactly the same you can relate to Forex. So it comes down to just constantly learning, educating yourself all the time if you want to succeed the best you can within this industry. Um, I've got some fantastic trades I've had this week, especially on those four hour charts. And I've got uh, three behind me here, um, five trades and three of them have had green lights on when I started this recording. So there's three more about to hit uh, full profit as well. So it's just been a really good week. Uh, of course, we've had Thanksgiving in the States uh, yesterday and Black Friday today. So a little bit quieter with the US dollar itself. But overall, it's just been a really nice week for trading for me, the longer time frames. And then last night on the webinars down to the one minute charts. Also took a couple five minute charts, an hour chart trade live on that webinar as well. 
So uh, that's it for this week. A little bit of a different approach to the video and podcast and a little bit of a, um, how it related to a true story. You know, I've got to say that that, um, that plane flight, it, it just made me chuckle how, um, you know, how someone living in one part of the world and they get very sort of... Um, you know, know a lot about that part of the world, but not about other parts of the world. And I thought, well, how can I relate that story to forex trading? Hope you've enjoyed the story and hope you can also um, expand your forex knowledge and, uh, and also look at other ways to trade if you need to, other time frames, etc. So I'm here to help if you need any uh, assistance with that. If you need a, a good strategy that works across multiple time frames, let me know. This is Andrew Mitchum from the Forex Trading Coach. Thanks for watching and for listening. And I look forward to talking to you this time next week when I'll be down in the South Island in beautiful Queenstown. So I look forward to talking to you from Queenstown next week. Bye for now.